Hey folks, welcome back to WWE 13 CWA Universe Mode Part 48. We got uh, our show already lined up here. We've got uh, Superstar J taking on Epico. We got Zack Ryder taking on Akane. Heath Slater taking on David Otunga. Daniel Bryan taking on Dan uh, Johnny Curtis. And in the main event, we have Brodus Clay defending his Southern Television title against Dolph Ziggler. And I've I've mentioned this before in other videos about how I was sick and tired of having my videos removed for copyright purposes because of a song somebody uses as an entrance music or something like that. So what I did was for my my created guys, I decided to everybody knows that WCW used uh, production music just from like random companies, and you know you can use that for whatever you want, like you just whatever. So what I did was, I went and I downloaded a bunch of old WCW themes, and I have given them to some of my created superstars. And uh, you'll see that here as we're about to start playing. Um, Akane and Superstar J have them. And we're going to start it up here on CWA Heat. I, Since we can't use created arenas, I decided to change the TV show around to CWA Heat. And here we go. Superstar J taking on Epico. Superstar J is slowly working his way up in the TV title ranks. So look out for him to take on Brodus pretty soon, I would say. As soon as this loads, you'll get to see the entrance music and all that spiffy stuff. Hopefully this actually works. And here we go. And this is Lex Luger's old NWA WCW interest name. Looks pretty good. Might tweak some stuff to it though, but I think otherwise it's really good. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, so that is Superstar J. And now we're going to bring in his opponent Epico from Epico and Primo. Of course, these two guys are on a Huge losing streak, unfortunately, and especially for Primo, because Primo started out really hot, and now he's really cooled off, unfortunately, so I'm going to be Superstar J, and I'm going to get my butt kicked, apparently. And I've stated, ooh, damn, I've uh, made it pretty much known that I want to, big side of suplex here, eventually just get rid of all the WWE guys, and just use completely... Uh, big calf kick there. Uh, use all created superstars. Made up, indies, guys, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's my big tilt world suplex there. Thought he was going to go for a slam, but it was a sidewalk slam. So, let's... And big drive-by kick in the corner. Go for the pin. Rope break. And let's see what he does here. Big spine buster slam. Oh crap, he blocked the Euro. Blocked the European uppercut and hit a running somersault neck breaker. Reverse it. Big Euro uppercut there. That's what I want to do. And a palm thrust there. Might quack. Oh! Flapjack. Shoot him into the buckle here. And it's going to be a bulldog out of the corner. Go for the pin. One. Nope. Still a one. And big backdrop suplex. Saito suplexes and backdrop suplexes are different. Saito is from the side. Backdrop is from the back. So if you ever hear me 
call that by a different name, you know why. And... Brain Busta! And Epico is busted open. And here comes my signature, or Superstar J signature. Big GTS. And... Oh, he got out. What a vagina. What are you? Oh no, he still hit me. What the fuck? How did he hit me? That was insane. What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna make it to the ropes. Yeah, you better grab those ropes, you jerk. Oh, but you got caught in a jawbreaker. Douchebag. That's gonna be a rope break, though. Damn. Big Lariat. Holy shit, that was awesome, though. That's kind of cool. Flapjack. Oh yeah, I'm posing. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. And... Damn, he's bleeding all over the place now. That's kind of cool. Running neck breaker. Let's Irish whip him in the corner there and put him up on the buckle. All that from a brain buster? That's, that's kind of uh, strange though, but... Uh oh, it's going to be a Tower of London. All right, now I got a signature, so that's good. And Irish whip him into the corner there, or maybe not the corner, but and knee trembler. Pull him out of the corner here. What in the world was that? Okay, well, I got a weird message on my computer just now. I don't know if you folks heard that. Hopefully not. Something about inserting media to continue, but I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Um, weird. Okay. Alright, so, Superstar J is victorious after the knee trembler over Epico and his TV debut. Pretty good, uh, little match there. Epico got jacked. There's the knee trembler. And then the pin... Three. So, Superstar J is, uh, he's pretty, pretty good. I enjoyed it. The entrance music is working really good for him. I like it a lot. What in the world is that error message coming from? Insert media to continue. I don't even have an, any media to continue with. Is that Roxio? They just had an update with Roxio. Maybe that's what it was. Weird. I have no idea. Anywho. Okay. All right. Well, next match is Zack Ryder versus Akane, and Akane has his own entrance music as well. So, well, hopefully that'll work good too. I have no idea, honestly, what the hell is going on with this Roxio thing. It did an update earlier, said it couldn't do. And now it's being weird. I have no idea. Alright, well, anywho, here comes the internet champion, Zack Ryder. And I'm going to start using this uh, belt uh, for my secondary TV show, which I will eventually bring back. But it's going to be like specific internet matches only. Kind of like what CWA Extra is. But it'll have its own belt. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still I'm still debating on whether or not I want to do that. But uh, alright. Here comes Akane and his entrance music. You might recognize it as the Great Muda's old WCW NWA entrance music. If not, then you're lame and you should go watch wrestling. Well, better wrestling than what's out now. And it totally fits him because he's Japanese. All right, that's pretty cool.
All right. Okay. All right, so it's going to be Zack Ryder taking on the Tokyo Barbarian Akane. And I think we're going to be Zack Ryder. Zack, uh, I need to start using him more. Oh, but there we go. And Akane, he'll, he'll be getting a push probably. I just wanted to build him up for it. Big drop kick. Of course, Akane won the uh, big Ultimate Jeopardy match at Turkey Day. Or Thanksgiving Day Turmoil, or whatever I called it, I forgot. Turkey Day Turmoil. And, uh, thanks, little man. Uh, ever since then, and, you know, that put Aaron Alexander in his, uh, his dress. And then Antoine Adams had to shave his head. And Ethan Hacker had to leave for 30 days, and he's back now. Of course, he hasn't been on TV, but we're waiting to bring him back. And of course, I, I released Anthony Wyatt and Victor White, the Brotherhood. They're gone. Unfortunately, they, uh, they've they been future endeavored. Even though they had a, a decent little thing going on with uh, the New Age. No, it was. Uh, who was it? I think it was the New Age Outlaws. But uh, yeah, they got released. So they've been future endeavored. I still have them on here. They may come back eventually. I don't know. But, uh, I wanted to use... I've got some new talent waiting to debut. Uh, Platinum Marco Rivera. He's like, you know, your pretty boy type character. Um, and we got a few other people you'll see in the coming videos. Because, like I said, go for the pin here. Like I said, I wanted to, uh... To, you know, eventually phase out all the big name superstars. Oh crap! And uh, just use created guys, because you know CWA works better with created guys, I think. And so far, I think Superstar J has been my best one. Big side Russian leg sweep, and we got a signature here. And big flying leg Larry, go for the pin here. One, one count. See, I hate the fact that you have to use signatures and finishers this year. Like, you didn't have to do that last year. But now you do. I'm going to use a different finisher too. I'm use the Zack Attack. Instead of the Rough Rider. And pin. Two. And three. Alright, so Zack Ryder, victorious on this episode of CWA Heat. Here's the Reverse Brain Buster. And then the Zack Attack pin. And with that being said, we're going to stop this video and head on over to the next video. So thanks for watching, and you know we'll look for that video in just a second. Thanks for watching.